Memorial Day is right around the corner and it is also the official kickoff to the summer. So today I am sharing a ton of patriotic hacks and DIYs all with Dollar Tree supplies to help you get ready. This is Whiskey and Wit, my name's Whitney, and on this channel I love to share DIYs and budget home decor, so if you love that too, be sure to hit subscribe so we can be craft buddies. Now let's get into the projects. I'm gonna kick it off with these super fun and adorable faux snow cones. So from Dollar Tree, you're gonna need some mini cups, paper straws, and also these little styrofoam balls. I liked the size that came four to a pack, and I just used a serrated knife from my kitchen to cut my styrofoam ball in half. You can use one half per cup and you can already see how it's going to become a snow cone. We're going to attach it to the top of our cups with just a little bit of hot glue. I'm using my precision glue gun. And once that was all glued down, then it was time to add the straw. So I just took my scissors, kind of poked a little hole. And then because it was a flat hole, I just pinched the end of my straw. I had cut down from those full size Dollar Tree ones to get it to fit. Then it's time to add your syrup or your paint to your snow cone. I just dry brushed a variety of different colors onto the cups depending on what look I was going for. I did a blue, a red, and then I also took this one and did kind of a bomb pop or rocket pop flavor with the red, white, and blue snow cone. These dried super quick. You can have so much fun with these and these would also be a really fun thing to do with kids just because once the hot glue is dried on there, all they have to do is paint and create their own snow cone. This would be also really cute for an ice cream party. You could do whatever color you want. Now what if you're more of a milkshake person in the summer rather than a snow cone? I've got you. Grab some of these little dessert shot glasses and we're going to start by spray painting them gray. This is going to make them look like those old time malt cups for milkshakes. And then we're going to create our topping with some Dollar Tree spackling. I'm putting a splash of water just like really quick, maybe like a tablespoon and some white paint, stirring it up till you get it to the consistency of whipped cream. And then we're putting it into a Ziploc bag. Trim the ends and then you can go ahead and apply it. Now to help it stand up, I used one of the smaller styrofoam balls I got, the ones that come in a six pack and put it underneath my faux whipped cream to help it stand up. And I'm also inserting another little straw piece directly into that spackling, it will dry in there. Now I wanted to do some patriotic colors within my faux whipped cream. So I split my remaining spackle in half, added blue to one and red to the other, stirred it up just like you're adding food coloring to frosting. You're just using whatever acrylic paint that you have. Apply it the exact same way, let them harden overnight and you've got these super fun little malt glass milkshakes. They look straight out of the diner. Now this is the easiest hack I will ever share with you. If you've got people coming over for a patriotic party, all you need to do is grab some of these Dollar Tree flags and add them to anywhere you've got greenery or a vase in your house. It is going to make it look instant, patriotic, look like you planned it out and tried hard, but it was so easy you can get a pack of three for $1.25. Another super easy peasy way to decorate for Memorial Day the 4th, patriotic in general, is grab some of this foam scatter. I did two bags and I used my doll needle, which you can now get at Dollar Tree. They've got some of these in the crafter square section, but mine came from Amazon. I just put some jute twine on the end and then I used the little thickness in the back of each star to string them up to a garland. Now you guys know I hate Dollar Tree items with glitter on it and this got a little dicey when I was putting it together. So I took it outside, I laid everything out and made Made sure none of my pieces were touching and then I gave it a good coat on both sides with some clear matte spray paint. I know sometimes foam doesn't agree with spray paint but this clear worked just fine and then when you touch it you're not going to have any glitter or fallout but you're still going to have that fun patriotic coloring that you can string up anywhere. I also made a smaller one that is really great for tiered trays and you can also add this across tables. Tons of different options quick to throw together and you can make a lot of these if you need to. Sticking with our star theme, I'm grabbing three of these Dollar Tree wreath forms. They're new this year. I grabbed three because I wanted to spray paint them. This spray paint is just from my stash. I wanted to use it up. So we've got red, white, and blue spray paint on the three of these. And that is it. Let them dry and they are going to be good to go. I wanted to use them on a mantle, kind of set up like this as a backdrop just to add some color. But you could tie the three together as jute twine and hang them on a door. Or you could even lay them down flat and put a container of dip or something in the center for your food spread. 
Now, if you peeped those houses in the last one, this is another Dollar Tree hack. These houses are amazing right now in the nautical line. And while I don't decorate a nautical decor, I thought the shape was amazing for $1.25. These things are solid and a great size. So I just had some patriotic scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby in my stash, but you could use fabric for this as well. I'm cutting it down to size, making sure it fits within the eave of the house. And then I'm just using some double-sided tape to stick it down. For this project, I went with double-sided tape versus a Mod Podge because I didn't have to worry about any bubbling or crinkling. It applies great. Did the same thing with this America Script scrapbook paper. And these things are awesome. You would easily pay a ton more than $1.25 a piece on Etsy or at a boutique. Also, word to the wise, I'd stock up on these because these would be also great for fall and winter this year as well. All right, you guys, this is a first at Whiskey and Wit. We are hacking one of my own projects, these popsicle garlands. So, so many of you told me you couldn't find the wood dominoes that I shared last year. So I want to give you a way you could make it super easy and almost free. You're gonna take some cardboard and you're gonna create yourself a template that looks like the top of a popsicle. I just did a curved piece across the top, kind of like a doorway in a gingerbread house. I cut out 10 of them, ended up only using nine. I did two red, two blue, the rest white. And then to create the three-toned popsicle, I did a one inch piece of painter's tape down the center, painted one side blue, one side red, and let those dry. And then what would a popsicle be without a popsicle stick? So these are just little thin popsicle sticks. I'm cutting in half, adding hot glue, and then gluing them on the back of the cardboard. So a huge perk that the cardboard has over the wooden dominoes is the fact that it's corrugated. So I'm grabbing one of these needles from the Crafter's Square set and I'm just going right through the corrugation in the center of the piece of cardboard. It could not be easier. Just stick it through. Your needle is just helping you glide it across. And I just did a pattern of Rocket Pop, red, white, and blue, Bomb Pop, blue, white, red, I guess, if you look at it from right to left. But this looks just like my other one. And if you can't find the wooden dominoes, this is how you can hack that look and honestly save some money. Now, if you haven't seen my summer dupes from Kirkland's, you want to go check that out. But this next one with these potted plants is another Kirkland's dupe that didn't make it into that video. I saw this patriotic metal bell and I knew I wanted to make my own. So from Dollar Tree, I grabbed a variety of sizes of these flower pots and I started by giving them a coat of white spray paint just to neutralize everything. Then I went around the bottom and did a red stripe and I started with acrylic paint. It didn't cover as well. So then I ended up using some chalk red paint, which worked much better. Now to get around the edges, I just took my paintbrush and put it kind of in an angle so that I could go right around the edge and get a clean line. Then I didn't have any blue chalk paint in the color that I wanted, so I ended up doing a couple coats of acrylic paint. I would recommend the chalk paint. It's just going to be quicker, but you can do acrylic. I just had to do with three coats. Once my top was covered, I went through with just some stickers that I made on my Cricut. These are one inch wide stars, just the Cricut shape, but Dollar Tree also sells some white star stickers as well. You can get them at a variety of different places. I just made my own because I had the option to. Then my last step was to take some of this nautical rope, also from Dollar Tree, cut a piece to look like the handle of the bell, and then add it to the top of my bell with some hot glue. These are so cute. The set of three is my favorite. I love this size for tiered trays. It looks great with the other items I've already shown. And here's a quick comparison if you're trying to decide what size you want to make. So I ended up packing these plungers for patriotic decor last year and I love them so I wanted to make a couple more sets. So you're going to take the handle off of a Dollar Tree plunger and cut both ends off. You could also use a miter box but I had my chop saw out this day so I just decided to roll with it. I did a 4 inch, 5 inch and 6 inch piece. You can also get a dowel rod from your local hardware store if you don't want to use the plunger. That's another option. We're just Dollar Tree hacking today. Now for one set of three, I painted them red, white, and blue, just the full color, and then decided to add kind of the wick to the top of the firework, be it this garland also from Dollar Tree. I just cut a small piece, just rolled it up, added some hot glue, and applied it to the top. Super easy. It would be a great kids project, minus the hot glue. Just make sure you supervise them. And then I finished it off by tying it with some jute twine. Now my other set, I decided to stain with Early American Stain by Minwax. 
and then use some painter's tape to tape off some fun, kind of nautical inspired lines on each of my pieces. There was no rhyme or reason here. I was just kind of winging it. I wanted some thin lines, some thick lines. Just painted it to my heart's content, red, white, and blue acrylic paint. Make sure to get your ends and then let it dry. Once everything was dry, I removed my painter's tape. And then for these, my wicks ended up being some nautical rope that I had left over from the bells in the prior project. Here is the comparison of the two different kinds. They are both adorable and easy to make. In my recent summer Dollar Tree haul, I shared these bamboo rings and you guys wanted to know what I was gonna do with them. Well, when I had some yarn out for this project, I thought, could I make a star out of this? And it actually turned out so great. So I started with some red yarn, I tied it on one end, and then holding it tight, I just started to make the shape of a five point star. And then I just kept wrapping and wrapping, kind of like a dream catcher until I got the thickness that I wanted. And then I was able to end up at the point where I started, tie the two ends, and it was all ready to go. Now when it's all tied up, you can use your fingers to slide any points or any of the pieces around that you need to. And then I did the same thing with the larger one, but in blue. These are super cute and would be great to put on your food tables or on a bathroom shelf just to add a little bit of color and patriotic pizzazz. Another easy project you can whip up super fast and add somewhere to make your decor look festive is this wreath. We're starting with some red yarn. I'm tying it on to the wreath form and I'm wrapping it around. Now you could do this with any wreath form that you have, big or small. I'm wrapping it till I get about a section size that I want and then I'm gonna tie the end of the red to the end of the white so I have one continuous strand. I'm gonna wrap some more so my white piece is the same size as my red piece and then I'm gonna keep doing that until I get around to where I want my blue section to be. Then again, tie your red to your blue, wrap it around, and then you've got a really pretty wrapped yarn wreath, red, white, and blue. I had some stickers left over from my bell project, so I just decided to stick the vinyl onto the wreath, but you could do some wood cutout stars. You could also paint them on there, or you could just do one large star. Tons of different options to customize this to whatever you would like. It sits up really nice like this, leaned against on a shelf or something, or you can also hang it on your door to welcome your guests. I feel like everyone on YouTube is sharing pool noodle hacks in some form or variation, and I have never done one, so I decided to pick some up because some of my friends have been DIYing with pool noodles and I want to give it a try. So I'm cutting just some four to five inch sections of both a red and blue pool noodle to kind of create the look of a push pop. Then I'm also gonna cut some little donuts, basically a third of the height, and then paint the middle one white. So then I'm creating a red, white, and blue popsicle just by gluing the red donut to the white painted donut to a blue donut. That is a mouthful. But once it is all glued together, then you have a three-toned little push pop. Then I'm taking some more of those popsicle sticks, just chopping off the top so it doesn't pop out the top of the pool noodle. And then I'm gluing it to the inside of all of my different pieces. I also did a blue, red, blue, and a red, blue, red. Then to string them up, I'm just taking my dowel needle, pushing it through the top of each of the noodles, and that is allowing me to string it up on some white Dollar Tree twine. This thing is so cute. I love it so much. It fits so well with a pool party or a beach party. The patriotic vibes, it just screams summer. On a recent trip to Dollar Tree, I was looking for chargers, couldn't find them, but I did find this decorative cake tray, so I grabbed two of them, brought them home, removed the stickers, and I decided I'm going to make these really cute for a table setup. So I grabbed my painter's tape, which I love to use almost every video, and I did a double line of tape. If you've got thicker painter's tape, you can use that as well, but I'm making sure to push it down into all of the grooves of the cake plate, and then I'm gonna repeat that up one and one below. To get it evenly spaced, I'm using two little pieces of tape to help me kind of figure out how thick that open line should be, and I'm gonna repeat the same thing at the bottom. Now for my stars plate, I am using some extras of those two inch stars I cut out on my Cricut, as well as some one inch stars around the outside. Again, you can use whatever stickers that you have or any stencils. 
I'm going through on my stripe one and spray painting it red and then I'm going to go over the stars with a blue spray paint. Once that all dries, I am peeling back the stickers as well as the painter's tape and then I'm going to go over both of them with a coat of white. I did it in this process so then that way the bottom of the plate looks white and you're also going to see the white pop through when you flip the plate over. In my head when I was thinking through this project I thought these are going to be cute but these turned out so much better than I even imagined. I paired them with a Dollar Tree wood like charger and this cute little popsicle I got from Hobby Lobby. These are going to be great little setups around my dining room table for when guests come over kind of just like a staged little area. Another item I was really excited about in my recent haul were these chair covers and while they would be great to use as chair covers especially if you have chairs in your dining rooms like they showed i thought this would make a great pillow so i decided to stuff it and i was originally going to do my glue hack to glue the bottom and it just didn't work for me so i took a dowel needle and some cotton twine out of the automotive section at dollar tree just did a little loop stitch across the bottom and that helped it all stay together this would be great to add to your outdoor patio sets or to your couch and it looks so cute with my Kirkland's dupe throw that I got from Amazon. I will link that down below. Now what if you're entertaining and need some sort of centerpiece or something for your food table? We're going to cut up some more noodles in about a 8 inch strip. And I'm also grabbing some bamboo skewers from Dollar Tree. Cutting up some extra of that garland from earlier and I'm kind of twisting it up because there is some wire on the inside and this is going to be the top to what we're going to make as fireworks. Stick that in one end of your pool noodle and then take your little bamboo skewer and push it up. Now we're going kind of at an angle so the tip goes into the inside of your pool noodle so it stays and then I'm using my miter shears to shorten it so it will fit in this tub. So I'm taking this Hobby Lobby tub along with some dollar tree ribbon tying a bow and cutting the ends at an angle and then also to add to my fireworks I'm cutting up some of these garden stakes so that they are similar heights to my fireworks it took a little bit of elbow grease but I made it work then I put some scrap pool noodles in the bottom of my bucket to kind of hold up my skewers and I started adding my variety of fireworks as well as some straws that I had left over just to add some color and then I added the remainder of my garland around the bottom just to kind of cover up any of that pool noodle like extra stuff in the bottom. This is so cute. I was able to use scrap from my garland before so the pool noodles were just extra. The garden steaks were Dollar Tree. Overall you could probably make this entire thing for about 10 to 12 dollars. This is so fun and festive and it would make such a great centerpiece for all of your summer activities. Thanks so much for watching. As always, let me know your favorite project down in the comments and also be sure to hit subscribe if this is your first time here so you don't miss a future video. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.